Good morning. Wow, does my hair look halfway decent? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I just blew it dry and then I put some of the Sicily oil in it. Well, I put the Sicily La Creme 230 in before I blow dry it. I just blew it dry upside down because I just don't have that much time this morning. And then I put some of the Sicily oil in, which is my favorite hair care oil. And it looks, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't look as good. Well, it's getting there. Anyway, how are you guys? Welcome to another vlog. We are starting out in the bathroom again. I uh, just finished showering and getting ready. I went to Pilates this morning, which was uh, great. I think I told you guys uh, last time I went to Pilates. I told my teacher that my back was feeling great. She was like, great, and like back at it. So we did a lot of abs today, and I just have to make sure that I stretch out my back. Um, today because my abs are very weak, which is, as you guessed it, probably why my back is always uh, just getting overstressed out. Um, so that was fun. And then I walked Butters, did a quick walk. I actually have to take her to the vet today. Um, and then I have to run home. I have a call at noon, somewhere around there, 12, 1130, 12, 1230. I can't remember. Anyway, somewhere like midday. Um, and then I have to run to the eye doctors and get new lenses for my glasses. I'll bore you with that whole long story, probably in the car when we drive over there, but it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. Anyway, um, and then tonight I have a really fun, um, I guess it's kind of a date night. So uh, the manager at the Chanel Boutique at Bellagio, she left and she's now over at Louis Vuitton uh, over at Crystal's. I need to actually make sure which uh, location she's at. <laughs> I just assumed Crystal's, but I don't think she's there actually. I think she, maybe she's at Bellagio. Anyway, um, she invited me to a private shopping event tonight, which goes something like, you know, six to nine or something. And so I asked my husband, I was like, oh, well, do you want to have dinner on the strip? And then we can just pop into the shopping event. Sorry, I just got a phone call. Um, oh, I was talking about the uh, LV shopping event. So I'm not really planning on buying anything. There's nothing I'm looking for, but the Yayoi Kusama uh, collaboration is so incredible. I love her. I love her work. Um, yeah, so it'll be really fun to see that. Maybe there's some interesting ready-to-wear. Uh, we'll be doing that tonight. My husband and I have uh, a dinner reservation at Ketch, which is at Aria, uh, the hotel and resort, and that's right next to Crystal's Mall. But if, <laughs> but if uh, my contact there actually isn't at Crystal's, then, and she's at Bellagio. Anyway, I need to text her right now and figure out where she is. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, she just replied back. She's like, yes, I'm at Crystal's. Okay, so I'm not totally losing my mind. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm just gonna be running around quite a bit. I'll be bringing you along with me. So yeah, I need to just sort of rush and get ready right now to um, take Butters to the vet. She's, nothing is wrong. She's doing fine. She just needs her Bordetella because we're gonna be boarding her soon. And she needs her allergy shot, poor thing. She's actually been okay for a while. In the spring, summertime, we have to get her the shot almost every single month. But over the winter time, uh, for obvious reasons, um, you know, she, she's okay, but the past few nights, she'll get up in the middle of the night and just start scratching herself. And that usually, I can tell that that's what's going on. And then like her eyes will seem like a little bit redder than usual. So we're getting her an allergy shot, uh, Bordetella, and whatever else she needs. There's always, I feel like there's always some sort of vaccination that she needs. So anyway, we're doing that, we're going to the vet. So I'm just gonna kind of finish up my skincare and figure out what to wear and I'll be right back. Okay, today's outfit, nothing new here. <laughs> I am getting all the wear I can in for this Loewe cardigan because the weather definitely is warming up. So I'm just going to throw this on. Got my black Everlane jeans on, just a gray t-shirt. And I'm going to, of course, throw on my Kate Ballet flats. They sell these flats in a cream color and I was so tempted, but I'm like, I'm not going to wear cream. I do wish they had this in like a cognac brown, like a rich kind of like brown leather color, like a tan, a warm tan. I would totally, I would totally get those. But that is it for today, outfit-wise. Oh, hi, Butters. Are you ready to go to the vet? It's your favorite place in the whole world. It's your favorite place in the whole world. She does actually love the vet. I think it's the treats that they have. <laughs> I think it's the treats that they have, but she, it's one of the few places where she goes and she gets so excited. She says hi to all the receptionists. She gets so excited she actually pees. Hmm? I'm sorry, did I embarrass you? Did I embarrass you, I'm sorry. And do you wanna wear this fleece today? We can always change. 
You have a whole wardrobe. <laughs> oh my god. Your mommy's ridiculous. Your mommy's ridiculous. have the best time ever? The best time ever? Huh, baby? You're all good to go now. You're all good to go. Your itchies should be gone. This eye, this is the pink eye. That should go away by tomorrow. Hmm? Oh, yes. All right, we are back from the vet, and now I have to prep for my call. <laughs> I've got a call in a few. Uh, very exciting. I wish I could talk about it in more detail, but um, working with like one of my dream brands. So hopefully I'll be able to share some news uh, with you very soon. But I'm gonna prep a little bit and I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back when I have to go to the eye doctor. All right, so we are on the way to the eye doctor. Um, I have been <laughs> struggling with my prescription because I think I told you guys I went to the eye doctor and I got a new prescription or whatever, and I just sort of left it at that. But at that point, um, I'm just dealing with aging eyes, and so I couldn't, I couldn't see far, I couldn't see near, like all the things were going on. I needed reading glasses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Standard practice is that they um, fix, you know, if you've always worn corrective lenses or glasses or whatever, they fix it so that you can see far, and then you just throw on some readers if you need to see close. So that's what I did, uh, and this was like late last year, that's what I did. You know, I realized that I need to see close so much more often than I need to see far. The only time I need to see far is when I'm driving, and that's, it's not even that bad. Like, I can see fine right now. Things aren't like crystal clear, but, you know, traffic signals, all those things are very, very bright. Traffic lights, car lights, all those things are very, very bright. So. That hasn't been a huge problem. The only problem I've run into not being able to see far is um, like the TV screen or if I'm like going to meet someone and like people are coming walking towards me I like can't see who that is like that sort of thing. So I realized I came to realize very quickly like within a week of getting you know my new contacts and using readers and all of that that I really just I need to see close. I, I don't need to see far that often and it was really sort of becoming just detrimental to work because I'm on my phone so much when I'm vlogging or filming I need to see the viewfinder and all of that I couldn't see so I was like you know either holding it really far out or you know throwing readers on or whatever and it was just it was too much I'm like I'm doing this so much more than I feel like I would if I needed to see far so I went back to the eye doctor and I said I need to see close. Is there any way you can make my contact lenses so that I see close and then are there like the reader's version for seeing far? And so my eye doctor explained, she was like, well, you know, the reason why we generally correct for distance and then you can just throw readers on is because you can just get readers at, you know, Walgreens and, you know, 10, 10 bucks and you can see or whatever. Um, but she's like, but if you want to see far she's like you actually have to get a prescription glass it's not as easy and you're not going to have multiple pairs or whatever like you're going to have that one pair i mean you could have multiple pairs but it'd be very expensive so she's like so that's why we always correct you know so that you can see far and then you can just throw readers on and i was like oh interesting so i told her i would rather see close and then just have one pair of glasses where i can see far and i can just keep them with me so right now what i'm doing is picking up the lenses to go into my glasses frame so that I can see far, I can see distance. 
Um, they just came in, so that's why I'm rushing over there. So I have glass, so I have contact lenses that I wear all the time. I have glasses to wear on top of my contact lenses so I can see far. And then I have glasses that I wear without contact lenses, just glasses, so that I can basically see both near and far. They're a little bit more tweaked so that I can see closer, uh, but they're fine. They're fine. They're basically the glasses that I wear, you know, when I wake up and before I go to bed. So that has been the sort of eye, sorry, you guys slid. So that's been the um, like eye doctor back and forth. I've gone back and forth to the eye doctor quite a few times because she kept wanting me. She's like, okay, try this out for a couple of days and then, you know, let me know how those are. And some of them were just like, just overcorrected where I was seeing close, but like really well, it was almost like magnifiers. And I'm like, this is giving me a headache. So we just kind of like dialed it back. Um, and that's been another issue, like not being able to see like clearly everywhere has given me headaches. It's taken a bit to adjust to it. And I was like, damn, this like getting older. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass. All right, here are my glasses. I've had these for a while, but I haven't been able to wear them because I haven't had the right prescription in them. I love them so much. I will put the model number down below, but I was really attracted to the fact that they were matte black. Obsessed, love them. Um, wow, I can see, I can see like teeny tiny signs off in the distance. Amazing. Hello, hello, I am back home. I did stop by the UPS store before going to the eye doctor, so I do have some PR packages to unbox with you guys. This is from Shantakai. I'm very excited. Oh, yes, it's the Wild Meadows collection. It's their spring 2022 collection. I was like raring to go. I was about to purchase this and everything and they said that it was coming in PR. So I am so excited. Oh, they sent it on this beautiful pink case. Oh, you know, I'm gonna do a video on these products because they're so beautiful, but let's just, let's just do a little sneaky peeky here. Um, so there's two blushes that are part of this collection. Look at the packaging, <laughs> so pretty. And here is one blush. This is Anemone, which is one of my favorite flowers. And then this one is Apple Blossom. Here's the cover for Apple Blossom. It's got the blue. Oh, these are gorgeous. Let's get that eyeshadow palette out. So this one is the Wild Meadows Eye Quartet. The packaging for that, that is a hyacinth. Here are the four shades. How pretty. Oh, I love it. That pink is like prettier in person than it is in the promo shots that I saw. So that is very exciting. There's some lip products, uh, three lip products. And what did they include? Oh, they included a brush. I love Chantecaille brushes. Which one is this? The Precision Blend. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a big pencil brush. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Chantecaille. Like I said, we'll do a full video on this because I'm really excited for this collection. And then I got something from Veronique Gabay, Gabi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's G-A-B-A-I. And they reached out to me to see if they could send me something. And I had seen their products, I think at Bergdorf. Um, they are a perfume house and sunshine for the senses and the soul. And uh, I was like, yeah, I would, absolutely love to try some of your uh, perfumes. So they sent over like a discovery set, which is great. And then they sent over a travel size of one that sounded just really intriguing to me. I'm gonna absolutely slaughter the name of this. It's the Souvenir de Tunisi. Souvenir de Tunisi. And I can't remember the notes of it, but I'm gonna open it up right now. Ooh, it comes in this little case here. Ooh, that's nice. It's very bright. It's bold and then it really softens down to like a, like a white floral. Let me look up the notes. Oh, and just by the way, they're also available at Saks, Neiman Marcus, well Neiman Marcus Bergdorf, uh, Derm Store. So anyway, I think I saw them at Bergdorf first. I didn't realize that they were sold everywhere else. All right, the notes. Top notes, orange blossom, sandalwood, neroli, 
um, mid notes, fresh almond, watery notes, bergamot, and then the base note is orange wood. Oh, that's really nice. And now that the weather's warming up in Vegas, I feel like my, uh, like my nose for fragrance is starting to change a little bit. And this is perfect because it's nice and bright. Ooh, that's lovely. Thank you so much to Veronique Gab Gabé. Sorry, I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sure. Um, oh, and this is the Discovery set, so I'm definitely going to kind of play around with this. Let's see. There are, oh, 12. Wow, 12 different um, samples in here. So there's two of these palettes. And then we have something from Milk Makeup. This is pretty heavy. Let's see what we got here. Wow, Swipe, Blend, Go. So it's all one box. I thought it was two boxes, but it's actually a split kind of lid here. Here we go. We've got the info card here. And wow, we have a lot of, what are these? Oh my gosh, they are little like stick products. So we have some highlighters. We have some little stick blushes. And then we have the little stick, um, I guess like contours and bronzers. Let's see, sculpt stick. Oh, I could have just opened up the card. Yep, here we are. <laughs> uh, new shades available on Sephora.com on February 16th. I'm not sure when you're going to see this. And in Sephora stores on March 10th, coming soon globally. 60 seconds, four sticks, zero mess. Featuring our new sculpt stick. Okay, so the sculpt sticks are new. Wow, thank you so much, Milk Beauty. Oh, and I just got a gift from um, a fellow YouTuber. I'll read you the card. It says, Dear Michelle, as I celebrate one year of my YouTube series, Filipina American Creative, I'd like to personally thank you for being a source of inspiration for me. Your presence along my journey has helped shape my series and I can't thank you enough. Oh my goodness. May this token of appreciation bring you and those you share it with as much joy as you have created for me this last year. With much mahal, Tez, T-E-S-Z. Oh, thank you so much, Tess. Milan, if you want to check her out on YouTube, please do so. T-E-S-Z-M-I-L-L-A-N. That is her YouTube handle. Filipina American Creative. Oh, thank you so much. Little Smarts Activity Kit. What's going on here? This is so cute. Look at this little bag. Game cards. And then there's, I don't know if this is maybe like a board. Yeah, this looks like a game board. Let's see, are there directions? Oh my God, this is too cute. Map, cards, game dice, and tokens. There's instructions, oh my gosh. Well, you guys know how much I love a game. This is great. Thank you so, so much, Tess. Hey guys, it is the evening, the evening time. I am getting ready for dinner and our private shopping event at Louis Vuitton. This is gonna be a late night for me, a late night for me. The shopping event goes from like, so I may be making either six to nine or seven to 10, something like that. Anyway, I thought, okay, that's fine. And then I asked my husband, does he want to go to the strip? Do you want to make it a date night? Sure. He still has to come home from work. Then we have to, anyway, it's a late night for me. So we have dinner reservations at around uh, 730. And I have to figure out whether or not we're going to be able to make it to the LV store before or after. I uh, need to pluck my eyebrow. <laughs> I was uh, filming a video today and I was, you know, kind of putting makeup on around my eyes and I was like, oh God, I really have some errant brow hairs there that I need to take care of. All right, so I'm playing around with the new Tom Ford concealer. This guy, it looks like a lipstick. <laughs> and what is it called? It is the Traceless Soft Matte Concealer and I have it in the shade 2N0. You guys may or may not have seen the comparison that I did with Clay de Poe. It is a very strong contender because the Clay de Poe stick concealer is like holy grail as far as stick concealers go. Um, this is great. It's a little bit more emollient. So it's hard for me to say because I have dry skin, but I think if you have oilier skin, I think the Clay de Poe definitely will work better for you because this one is a little bit emollient. This one is... Um, has a little bit more coverage, I want to say, and is a little bit, um, yeah, it's just not quite as emollient as the Tom Ford. I don't want to say it's drier because it's not dry at all. I don't want to give you that impression. I really, really like them both. So yeah, I'm kind of just continuing to 
you know, test out the Tom Ford because yeah, I'm like really impressed by it. <laughs> I think I'll put on some of the Surratt Dew Drop Foundation because I just want, you know, like light coverage. Start here and work out. I'm using shade number three. I still have <laughs> this Salt New York palette packed from the Shiseido trip, um, but I have my favorite like contour in here. This is Gris Grisal? Grisal? <laughs> Grisal from Surratt Beauty. Anyway, I'll list everything down below in the description box per usual, but I'm gonna use this kind of all over to add a little bit of dimension to my face. Let me see. I'm gonna use my Sonia G Sculpt One brush. I'm gonna use this Crease Two brush and let's see, I think I'm gonna just do like a one and done shadow. I think I'll use this shade, which is Zybeline. Start along my lash line here and then blend it upwards. But yeah, I think I'll just stick with this one shade. Then I'm going to use La Rose de Soie. Let me curl my lashes and use the Surratt Noir Lash Tint. Ooh, let me use this Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. I think in my last vlog I was talking about how this is on its last leg, <laughs> last legs. I'm gonna do a little bit of tight lining with my Hourglass Cave Eyeliner. And then lipstick. I definitely wanna do something nude. <laughs> What's new? I was really loving these new Dior Mitsu Collection um, lipsticks. Two Baby Pink, let's see. This is 253 Rose Feline. Oh, nude faux. Ooh. Put that right on top of the Rose Feline. That is the lip color for this evening. Do I need lip liner? I think I'm okay. All right, now it is time to get dressed. All right, we are upstairs in my closet. I need to figure out <laughs> what I'm going to wear tonight. Let me check what the weather is going to be like. Vegas. So at about eight o'clock, it's going to be 44. That's pretty chilly. Maybe I'll wear my Prada sweater and not the pleated skirt, but a different skirt. This faux leather skirt that I don't think I've ever worn out. I got it and I kept it because I was like, oh, it's a good basic to have. It's from H&M. Maybe I'll wear that. Okay. Let me, let me try a few things. Okay. So here's my Prada sweater with the H&M faux leather skirt. I wish it had pockets. <laughs> I wish it had pockets. This is okay. And it's actually a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought it was like mid-calf. So I may be able to get away with like knee highs. I guess depending on what shoes I'm gonna wear. I don't know. It's not freezing out, but I don't know if sandals are appropriate necessarily. I don't have any Louis Vuitton, so. <laughs> I have to go with someone else. I have Prada Crystal Mules. These are an option. My Bottega Flats. <laughs> We're just trying them all out, aren't we? I mean, this is a look. I've got the Gucci Mules. Now, I think because of the length of the skirt, I definitely have to go with something with at least a little bit of a heel. Shoes I have that look okay are these crystal mules. And they're comfortable. I feel like it goes well with this whole outfit. I don't think I need to put on um, stockings or anything. I'm just going to go bare-legged like this. I think that's fine. Maybe I'll put on some lotion. Yeah, let's put on some extra lotion. I have my... Tatcha Indigo Body Butter. Any excuse to put on more of that stuff? Yes, yes, I'm all in. Anyway, that was easy enough, finding something to wear. I, yeah, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be much more difficult, but yeah, oh my God, I love this body butter. Did you guys, <laughs> did you guys catch my favorites? I went on and on about this um, Tatcha Indigo Body Butter. This was the first thing from them that I purchased that I like fell madly in love with. It's also when I discovered my love for the camellia flower oil because that's what this smells like and I was obsessed. I remember going back to the Tatcha counter 
where I got the body butter at Barney's on the Upper West Side and I asked them, I was like, um, is there any chance you're coming out with this fragrance? Or do you have this as a fragrance? They were like, no, but we'll let them know. I was like, okay, okay, let them know. All right, oh, I just realized, I'm so excited. I can use my new YSL clutch, the one with the silver, uh, like finished hardware because these are one of the shoes that I thought of when I purchased that clutch because I only have like evening bags, like black bags or whatever with gold hardware and always just seemed like not quite right. And now I have that, yay. That is still those are, oh, I have gold earrings and let me take that out. I'll put in some silver toned earrings. I'm just gonna put on these bone her huggies, these Coco huggy hoops. I wonder if Dean Davidson will come out with those dune huggies in like a matte silver finish. I would just go between those two pairs of earrings probably. These are nice too, they have crystals in the front. All right, I am ready. I'm going to wait for my husband downstairs. Um, he has to come home, quickly change, and then we're gonna head out. All right, I am <laughs> unpacking my clutch, my new clutch. I wish you guys could tell me if you like the way this one looks. I think it looks good with the shoes, right? So I'm gonna bring my City Lips lip gloss. <laughs> Even that makes this bag kind of puff out a little bit. That's okay. And then my phone does have to fit in here because I did get permission to vlog tonight. So I'm gonna be bringing my vlog camera, um, which means my phone will be put away. I don't have pockets. ID, my credit card. That's it. That's all I need. Awesome. Yep, fits right in here. And then I'll have my vlogging camera. Okay, perfect. I am ready to go. It's really crazy here tonight. Well, it's crazy here tonight for a weekday. <laughs> anyway, we are here at the Aria. We are gonna have dinner at Catch. was delicious. I got the catch roll and I had the, what was that? The truffle sashimi, it was so good. So now, before we hit the shopping event, <laughs> my husband wants dessert. So we're gonna go to, there's like a little dessert counter place in Aria, because all the desserts at catch are too big. So we're gonna find this dessert counter. the second floor. Oh look, here's Toka Madera. I'm taking you guys with me, I believe. It's Toka Madera, maybe not, but they have this beautiful entryway. Yeah, that's the kind of thing you can't have in New York because you would just have all these people standing around the fire. <laughs>
colors. So I'm very interested in mommy's new bag. <laughs> well, good morning. I just filmed the unboxing of the bag that I ended up getting last night at the shopping event and, uh, well, filming in quotes because my camera wasn't actually turned on. Obviously, I need a little bit more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Last night ended up being a really late night, so when I got home, I just dropped off my bag and, and went, up to, uh, went up to bed. So um, I wanted to show you what I got, but I already unboxed it, but who cares? You just want to see the bag that I got uh, in any case. But I just wanted to show you the bag that it came in, <laughs> the polka dots on the inside, the ribbon that the box was wrapped in, and the tissue paper. So here's the box that it came in, and then inside, Look at the, the tissue paper, it's all, I mean, it's just, it's so cute. And this was on the ribbon. So I got a Yayoi Kusama collaboration bag. And I probably misled you a little bit with the pictures that I took last night because I was modeling the Pochette Matisse. I think that's the name of the one. It's like a crossbody, it looks like a little messenger bag. I didn't actually end up getting that one. I ended up getting the Alma, the little Alma bag. Uh, so... Just a little background, if you guys are unaware, Yayoi Kusama is a, a very famous like contemporary Japanese artist. This is actually the second time she's collaborating with uh, Louis Vuitton, and it's been 10 years since her first collaboration. And I'm just such a big fan of hers, and I love this little pumpkin. She's known for this little pumpkin. Um, her hair is cut almost like a pumpkin, so that's kind of like her thing. Uh, but anyway, the bag is actually let me show you the model in case you are interested so this is i believe the information you would need maybe that's the model number maybe that's the name but it's the alma and uh, it does come with like a little crossbody strap and you guys know how much i love a crossbody bag but this is such a ladylike bag that i don't I mean, I think this is going to be handy, but I don't think that's how I'm going to want to wear this bag. I think I'm going to want to carry it like, like a little lady-like bag. Um, and the reason why I went for this one instead of the pochette Matisse is because that bag has a lot of, not that this one doesn't, but that bag has a lot of like detailing on the front. It has that really cool like lock mechanism, like the luggage lock mechanism. Um, it has like the envelope kind of flap and then it has like a little outer pocket and it just it looks really cool and I thought the polka dots actually kind of like distracted from it a little bit. I thought if I wanted to get that bag because I really did like it, it sat nicely um, on my height and everything, um, that I'd want to get it maybe in a solid color or even just the regular old monogram. That I think I would prefer a lot more than the polka dot. And it is like a fairly casual bag, so I thought the polka dots would lend itself to a more casual bag, casual style. But I didn't, I don't know, I thought it was, it was like a bit much. And I actually liked what the polka dots did to this very ladylike, traditional kind of style bag. I really like that it lightens it up a little bit, adds a little humor. I just thought that this was nice. And this was, it's just such a kind of plain front bag. I thought the polka dots really kind of like enhanced this bag versus kind of taking away from the pochette Matisse. So anyway, that's why I ended up getting this one instead. And you know, I'm liking this, this size bag. It's a very practical size bag for me these days. I've talked about how I've always loved big bags. I will always love big bags. Um, and when I lived in New York City, that was the way to go. It's like, I was always carrying a ton of stuff. But here with car culture, I just don't need as big of a bag, even though I do prefer them. Um, but this size bag is just perfect. I just need something that's gonna hold, you know, my phone, my car keys, lipstick, lip balm, floss, a mask, you know, just like kind of the basics. And this was perfect. I kind of did a test at the store. I was like shoving all this stuff into the bag and I was like, it all fits. I love it. I love it. So this as a default was just tied onto the outside of this bag and I feel like it keeps flopping over. So I'm actually going to undo this and tie it to like the inner part of this hardware instead of the outer part. I love this Kusama pumpkin so much. I just love pumpkins so much. Okay. How does that look? Now it's like right in the middle of the bag. I think I do prefer that. <laughs> I really like this. Um, and then let's see. So I showed you the strap that it comes with and it also comes with a little pouch. This has the key to the lock on here. 
And the best part about this bag, did I show this to you yet? Sorry, is the inside. Look, there's a contrast pocket on the inside and then another pumpkin emblem there. But it's white with the black polka dots. Isn't that so cool? I love that. It's like a little secret because obviously not many people are going to be able to see that. But I, you know, I've been eyeing this collection ever since it came out last month. Um, when I was in New York, I stopped by the LV, if you guys caught that uh, shorts or my TikTok, where I was standing outside of the boutique and that automatronic robot AI, like, oh, it was so creepy. That robot of the artist, of Yayoi Kusama, was in the window of the LV in New York and <laughs> you'd walk up to it and the robot would actually turn its head towards you. I think it could sense you. And then it would do this like wink. <laughs> it was so creepy. It was so creepy, but it was so cool all at the same time. And every single person, you know, while I was standing there filming, every single person walking by behind me was like, is that, is she standing in there? How long has she been in there? I'm like, <laughs> obviously she's not standing there. I'm like, she's 93 years old. And I think she gets around in a wheelchair now like that that's not her <laughs> so I've been eyeing this collection ever since it came out and I just I don't know do I want one with like the rainbow polka dots over the monogram and then they have uh red like solid red with uh white polka dots and then they have the black with the white polka dots and then they have men's styles which is um I think mainly black with white and gray polka dots I was like ooh, I really like that anyway it was overwhelming and I kept you know going back to the LV site figuring out oh Maybe I want ready to wear. Maybe I want something else. But no, I'm glad I picked up this guy because it's so cute. And I just had such a great time at the shopping event. It was really awesome. Everyone working there was like, I don't know, everyone seemed like they were in a really good mood and uh, everyone was like kind of like in a party mood. All the customers there were really having a lot of fun. They had hors d'oeuvres and drinks. It was just a really, really good time. So I'm so glad I went. And yeah, that is it for this vlog. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.